In this video, I'd like to go over a couple of keyboard shortcuts that I use on a daily basis that really helps me to work faster and more efficiently. And um, overall, this is just a very important and key thing about learning keyboard shortcuts and using them um, is basically you, the stuff that you do every day, the stuff that you do like multiple tens or, or even hundreds of times a day, you wanna uh, make them as quick as possible, as efficient as possible, um, because it simply adds up right it just the time that it takes you know those those seconds multiply and um, all of a sudden things that could take a couple seconds uh, take minutes and I'm thinking of doing kind of video series called keyboard shortcuts uh, I guess you could consider this to be the first episode and in today's episode in today's video I'd like to go over navigation and selecting layers so here's a couple of shortcuts that I chose um, that I'm gonna demonstrate how to use them and I'll just show you some examples when they are you know essentially the most useful so let's take a look what what we have here first of all we have the go to next frame I mean this shortcut does what um, it sounds like Right, so when I look at everything that I have on my canvas right now, you can see that I have four frames. I have this main frame over here, then I have frame two, three, and four. And so when I keep pressing N, I'm gonna jump, you know, from one frame to the other. So when I press N and just keep pressing N, I jump between uh, frames. And you can also see that we can jump or go to a previous frame. So when I uh, press N and then a shift N, shift N, you can kind of see that I, I'm going in the opposite direction. So N and shift N, and that's just a general thing about these shortcuts in Figma. Usually you get um, an action and then shift plus that action is doing the opposite, right? It's, it's, like, um, it's like command Z for going back, command shift Z for going, you know, forward in steps in history and you can kind of see it like similarly here like select child layers and shift enter is select parent layer so that's kind of the logic behind most of these shortcuts overall in figma so that's good to remember so n and shift n going to through frames you can notice that um, actually i'm jumping onto these frames but they are not being selected right they are not being selected i think that is going to be done by a tab select next layer not only within parent layer but let me just show you when i select everything and then i keep pressing tab i keep selecting different layers but i'm not necessarily moving towards them right so when i zoom out i'm selecting everything and then i'm gonna press tab you can see that i'm jumping across objects right but i'm not necessarily zooming in that's as opposed to the n and shift and shortcut where i move there but i'm not uh, selecting the layers i'm jumping to so go to next frame previous frame select next layer and select previous layer we're gonna go over these in more detail later in the video but uh, next frame and previous frame that's what you want to remember and then also we have these shift and numbers as next shortcuts and th these are very useful very important for you to uh, to remember so what they do they enable you to zoom to um, certain areas of the of the canvas of the file of the page so let me just press this one shift and one so that is zoom to fit and that fits everything that's on the canvas everything that's on the page that's gonna fit all of that within your field of view shift one zoom to fit it shows everything that is there essentially well, let me actually select this frame and then i'm going to use another shortcut and that's shift two that is zoom to selection selected layer um, you can see that when i again go to zoom to fit so shift one and then i select a different layer and then shift two you can see it kind of zooms in to whichever object or object multiple objects that i have selected right i for example selected uh, these two frames and this group of circles and now i can press shift two to kind of position them within my uh, field of view so that's shift plus two very important very useful shift one zoom to fit shift to zoom to selection then we have shift zero 
and that's gonna zoom to 100% and that means 100% um, size. So when you have an object that is, let's say 100 pixels or 100 points and you press command zero, you actually, that's gonna render on your screen exactly as it is defined. So you can see that um, this object is 335 pixels or points wide. And when I press command zero, it's gonna, you know, use 335 pixels points on my on my screen you can also see that zoom a number zoom view options over here it shows 100 percent meaning the size of what you're looking at is one to one so that is command zero and actually i said command zero and here it says shift zero but if i'm not mistaken i think command zero and shift zero are doing the same thing let me try so i have this i'm at 51 so that's shift zero goes to 100% and then when I do that again command 0 100% so yeah command 0 and shift 0 apparently that's the same thing you can replace it by command let's move on to this column with these four shortcuts we have right here select child layers and start editing a shape that's why we have these circles right here right so let me select this these circles or I can you know I can try and put the previous shortcuts to use. So let me just uh, select everything and then um, use tab until I get to the circles, shift to zoom to selection. And now we can actually try and use the enter shortcut. So I'm pressing enter. As you can see here in the layers panel, I have circle, the circles group within which there are three groups, uh, row one, two, and three. And when I select the circles group and then press enter, you can see that it selects all three rows, right? So uh, select child layers. I can also press shift enter and that's gonna select the parent layer, which in this case is the circles group, right? So I can just press enter and then shift enter to keep switching between the rows and the circles group itself right and i can then use tab since i have all of these selected i'm going to press tab until i select the row that i would like to select and again row one you can see that i have six ellipses within this row i can press enter again and you can see that we've selected all these ellipses and then again i can keep pressing tab or shift tab as specified right here to navigate between these individual individual objects so as you can see i can go back and forth then i can press shift enter and then shift enter again and then i can keep jumping i can keep jumping between these objects you can see that we can basically navigate to any object that we have here so let's say we do want to select um, actually let's do this let's do an exercise where our task is to select this tab key right here so we need to select the tab key right here how do we do that without clicking right without using our mouse how can we achieve that well first of all I think we need to uh, select everything right then I'm gonna use my tab key to get to the frame and then i'm going to press enter you can see that we've selected uh, all these objects within this frame then i'm going to press shift 2 to zoom to selection and again i'm going to use tab until i get to the correct object that i need right we have this this group selected then i'm going to press enter again and again tab until i get to this group i can press enter again tab if tab enter and tab tab until i select this key <clears throat> so you can see that we've selected this specific object without using our mouse so this is significantly faster than clicking right now when i just keep pressing shift enter and um, i'm pressing shift 2 i can get to this frame again and basically i can jump to whichever object i like right so let's say i want to jump again to this ellipse i can do that i can also go one step further when i have this object selected i can press enter and this will enable me to enter the shape editing mode where i can use my mouse to add points i can use the path tool to 
create some kind of shape modifications. Then I'm gonna press Shift Enter again, Shift 2, Shift Enter, Shift Enter, and then Shift 1 to view all of these. So yeah, this has been the first episode of a series of videos, probably on keyboard shortcuts. We went over all of these and learned what they can do. And if there's anything unclear, let me know in the comments below. I will try and explain all the use cases for this. And in the next video, I'm planning to talk about arranging objects. So that's alignment, layer order, centering objects, flipping objects, all that good stuff. So if you'd like to learn more about keyboard shortcuts, definitely press subscribe so that you don't miss another video. So please leave a like if this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if there's anything unclear. And I will see you in the next one.